Number two, estimating length of car ownership. A Napa auto parts supplier wants information about how long car owners plan to keep their cars. A simple random sample of 25 car owners result in a mean of 7.01 years and a standard deviation of 3.74 years, respectively. Assume that the sample is drawn from a normally distributed population. Problem 2A wants us to find a 95% confidence interval estimate of the population mean. Problem 2B says find a 95% confidence interval estimate of the population standard deviation. For this, we first need to find alpha. Alpha is equal to 1 minus 0 0.95. 0 0.95 is the confidence interval. So we take our calculators. We go to program. We go down to chi sq, which is the third one. Press enter. Then we press enter again. It gives us area r. Area r is equal to alpha over 2, which is equal to 0.025. Put that in our calculators. Press enter. Then the degree of freedom is n minus 1. So we put in 24 for the degree of freedom and press enter. Then for the standard deviation, the sample standard deviation, we put in 3.74, which was given to us in the problem. Press enter, and we put in 1, and then we press enter. The answer we get is 2.92, comma 5.203. So our answer is 2.92 is less than standard deviation, which is less than 5.20. If several years pass and you want to conduct a new survey to estimate the mean length of time that car owners plan to keep their cars, how many randomly selected car owners must you survey? Assume that you want a 99% confidence that the sample mean is within 2.5 years of the population mean and also assume that the standard deviation point is equal to 3.74 years. Because in 2C we are determining the sample size, we're going to use n mean. For n mean, we need to first find out what z half alpha is. And to find that, we first need to know what alpha is. Alpha is 1 minus 0.99, which is equal to 0 0.01. We then take that, we use our calculators, we go to second vars, Go down to inverse norm, type in 0 0.01 divided by 2, press enter. The answer we get is negative 2.58, because we're rounding to three significant figures. Now that we have the z half alpha, we want to go to program, go all the way down to n mean. We press enter, we enter in the z half alpha. It can be positive or negative, it doesn't matter, which is 0 0.2, 2 0.58, press enter. The standard deviation, which in the problem it said it was 3.74, press enter, and E, which is the margin of error, is 0 0.25. We then press enter, and the answer that we get is 1489.71. We run around this to 1490. Problem 2D says, when conducting the survey described in Part C, you find that the survey process can be simplified with a substantially reduced cost if you use the, an available database consisting of people who purchased a General Motors car within the past 10 years. Would good results be obtained from this population? The answer to that is no. Alcohol service policy, determining sample size. In a Gallup poll of 1,400 adults, 93% indicated that restaurants and bars should refuse service to patrons who have had too much to drink. If you plan to conduct a new poll to confirm that the percentage continues to be correct, how many randomly selected adults must you survey if you want 98% confidence that the margin of error is 4 percentage points? We first want to start out by finding alpha, which is equal to 1 minus 0.98. We then want to find z half alpha using our calculators. Press second vars, go down to normal, inverse norm. Then we plug in 
point zero two divided by two. Press enter. The answer that we get is equal to negative two point three two six. We round that to negative two point three three. We then take our calculators, go program, then we scroll down to improp, press enter, press enter again. The z half alpha is negative or positive 2.33, press enter. P, which is equal to p hat, is equal to, earlier in the problem it said 93%. So we're going to plug in 0.93, press enter, then E, which is the margin of error, it says 4 percentage points, so we're going to plug in 0 0.04 and press enter. The answer that we get is 220.888, and we're going to round that to 221.